everyone. Welcome to Espresso Press Design. Mary here. Thank you for stopping by on this cloudy but warm Tuesday, February 27th, I believe. Okay, today we're going to do some little um, specimen specimen um, I don't know what are they specimen cards <laughs> I can't remember the name of them now my mind is a blank but first the usual thank yous and hellos thank you to Jennifer Sue Florin Karen and Karen and to my new subscribers, thank you for your kind comments and welcome. And I hope you will keep visiting. So let me get through the housekeeping and then I'll show you where I am on the Blueberry Pie Journal. And then we will get started. Okay, first of all, I have bees and flowers and if you go to this on Shopify you will get bees and flowers and this 374 page uh, bee keeping encyclopedia or bee encyclopedia what's it called app apiary I forget the title of this encyclopedia but it's everything about bees and I just printed out one page so on Etsy you'll just get the 10 page bees and flowers but on Shopify you'll get the complete everything you would need for a bee journal well, not everything you would need, but some pretty good basics for a bead journal for, I think, less, less cost than it is on Etsy. Yeah. Um, I have dragonflies in flowers. Love this. I think it's... I don't, I don't know if that's a cherry... Blo apple blossom or I don't know what it is but it's beautiful these are spring so it has to be something spring something blooming and then you'll get um, I think it's garden of spring with just the flowers and this goes with the previous collections they all work together if you're looking for spring journal stuff and this I love absolutely love so I had to come down and work with it um, antique floral garden I think is the name and it just looks like an antique painting so I just love it. It's very rich. So that was what I led to this. And I made some Easter tags with it. And then I came up with these to do with it, which we're going to do today. And what else? Then I saved every little piece and made some these will probably be um, dangles once I get them finished if I have time I'll show you how to do that but it was very easy I just used some packaging tape so what you'll need you'll need some glue You'll need um, 
a punch. You'll need a two and a half by five inch strip of paper and two little two and a quarter inch squares to go inside like this and that'll be that's pretty much it some glue and you can do these however you want I forgot to ink that if I have time I'll ink it but okay here's a little progress report on the blueberry pie journal I might add a little more I don't know I got the book corners on um, I used that piece that was in the pocket to reinforce the back so what I wish I would have done is the front has two two pieces from the packaging to make it sturdy but when I got to the back it only has one and a half which is the pocket so I wish I would have put two and then the pocket so that the back and the front both have the same weight if that makes sense so the next one I just use that to reinforce the back a little bit and I could have swore that was straight yesterday and now it looks like it's not <laughs> oh my god okay then I just refilled that with a little tag and I'm going to do some more little ephemera out of packaging Got my strings tidied up, just did a bow because I saw someone do that and I thought it was kind of cute and so it'll be a work in progress. Okay, let's get started. For your sake, I have these already glued and scored, so I'm just going to fold and burnish hopefully oh there we are hold and burnish and this one I, I used every inch of that paper so this one's going to be a little sparse on the front as compared to the back but I did it anyway okay how's that gonna go like that okay so then I took my punch and I might be moving out of the camera but because this is two and a half by two and a half you just line your punch up in there and I pretty much have it pushed in entirely and I really didn't care if I ended up in the center but first of all let me show you a trick if you care about ending up in the center that just reminds me take a little punch circle this is a nice clever trick pop it on there and then you can line up your punch with that circle but I'm not going to do that I didn't find it necessary for this so I'm just going to punch I do have to ink those edges. I'm left with my circle. Just 
just going to line it up as best I can. And I know I'm going to lose a lot on the front of this one. But that's okay. I have all these beauties. And I can embellish that a little if I want. So then what I did is... Because I didn't want to mess with glue, the, I, the first one I did with glue, but then I had a hard time getting my little card in there. So then I was like, well, what I really want is a channel. And you can use washi tape for this. You can use a folded paper channel. Let me get this a little flatter. Let me make sure I'm in here. You can use a little paper channel or washi. But once this gets burnished, you won't even see it. And this is the, um, what's it called? Not glossy. Scotch tape. Just burnish that in there. That's my top. This, this might be my last pull from this tape. <laughs> I have to get more tape. I can't believe it. Flip that around. Press like so. See, you can't even tell that's there. Trim it off. Okay, there's one. And then that way your specimen is nice and open. So you have some wiggle room in there. Okay, now we're going to do the tab. And where is my circle? I was trying to think of what I could do with these. Let me take this one. And I'll show you here what I came up with, but I didn't like it because it's a little bulky. I thought of making, doing one like that, and I just stapled it. But it makes the, um, makes the opening a little bulky, so I don't like it as much as just doing a tab. And then this one had a little, a little gap there in the, between the tags, so I just covered it up with another little piece of scrap. 
so I'm just wondering if I could use this somewhere for a decoration. And see if it's going to bulk up the entire thing. Let me just try, slip this in here and see what happens. Uh, no, it's going to show through, so I don't like that. Okay, I'll figure something out to do with those circles. So there's one. And you can use anything for this, by the way. I was using my scraps. So it's, again, it's two and a half by five, and you just fold it in the center. You can use a large index card. I couldn't find mine, but I have cards like this. So you can use anything. One of them I used a card, greeting card back. Um, which one was it? This one. It's just a greeting card. You can actually still see some in there, but that didn't bother me. Because you can't actually read it, so. You can use anything to make these. Use up your scraps. So this one just needs a uh, tab. That'll give you some more ideas. Look at that. Look at the back. So these are definitely for tucking because you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose those beautiful flowers, but of course you could make them with whatever you want. pages, whatever. I don't know if I like that. Am I getting a hint of bold, actually? My gold pen appears to be running out of stuff. Paint. I think this is actually an oil. Because it has GMs, that's for sure. Okay, let me burnish that and let it let that dry a second, and I'll do the tape on this one. And then we'll do the tabs. This tape, I think, is about done. So, my week. <laughs> my week was the usual. Um... Which anyway, it was Tuesday, and my daughter started getting a fever that went up to 103. And I thought, well, that's a little odd considering it's day five. Why is she getting a fever? And she hasn't had a fever since the first day. So there's my tape on the top, first channel, I'm calling it a channel. Why is she getting a fever? So it went down, finally, to 99, and then it started going back up again. So we said, okay. 
we're going to ER. So we did. And she didn't think she had pneumonia, thankfully. But she had influenza A. And they put her on a nebulizer. And then that helped her feel a little better. And the fever didn't come back, but she missed the entire week of school. She said she could go back once she didn't have a fever for 24 hours. And But then by the time that happened, they had off Friday and Thursday was a flex day. So she took the entire week to recover and she's pretty much pretty much back to normal. <laughs> but you know, I think when you get the flu when you're younger, it's a lot worse because I started getting sick. But I didn't feel as bad as her. And my husband didn't get sick. Oh, geez. I'm peeling off my... I need some glue. I'm peeling off my digital there. Okay. So we have two ready to go. Now, of course, you can put your little whatever you want in the center of there. If you want a butterfly, an insect, stamp, whatever you want. But I I like them with just the text because I didn't want to lose the um I just like them like that. <laughs> I might put something in. We'll see. I'm gonna make a little brush here and get that glued back down. So that was my week. Oh and then <laughs> remember when I said these were indestructible. Well, they are, except from everything, except for a cat falling through the ceiling on top of them. That it was either that same day, it might have been that same day. I was upstairs at my desk and I heard a crash and I thought it was on the roof actually and it wasn't above me it was below me and that little boy what they do is they jump on this chair that I'm sitting on because there's a window behind me with a ledge and once they get on that ledge, they can see through the gap in the drop ceiling. So they think, I'm just going to go walking around in the ceiling and see what I can see. And <clears throat> he fell through the ceiling. Everything on this table was scattered. We went to the store, I think, to pick up her medicine and get some soup or something, I forget. But she called and said, don't get mad, but something in your craft room might be broken. 
And then I came home and looked at it, and I was just like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So that was fun. So I didn't even deal with it until the next day. And then I came down here, and I was livid. First I thought, okay, everything looks... You're lucky you didn't break my guillotine sitting here beside me. You're lucky you didn't break my glass mat. You're lucky you didn't break this and that and the other. And then I saw everything in that tray scattered all over the table. I must have left it open. And... That was the end of that. Oh, there is some brown in there. Ooh, okay. I think I'm going to use that for a tab. That'll work. And I'll make both of them the same. There's some blue in there. Perfect. Okay. Size is this three? Uh, okay, let's just cut it in half. That way, we'll get rid of the scrap. Actually, this is quadrupled. That's okay. It'll be sturdy. Unless, let me see if I can get it apart. And again, get two for one. No. Wait, there we go. Let's just do that. So that was that was my week. I'll put that there. That there. Or no, opposite. Yeah. I think that needs trimmed a little. It's a little long. Try to get a straight line. A little more. Take it off. Okay, that'll work. Get both these the same size. Do you like my cutting there? I've been practicing how to cut straight. Um, I think I'm going to try a different corner. See if I can get something a little more decorative here. Yep, that'll work. So I've played nurse all week. Got a little sick myself. Took a day off. Now I want to make sure Yeah, sometimes I don't care if I 
have this going sideways. So I think I'm going to have this text going like this. And put this like this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then what else happened? I don't know. We had a interesting story. In the newspaper, they found an 18, well actually it's worth more than that, a gold rear Lego piece. And um, it reached a bid of $18,000 and before another uh, uh, they had it listed before and it went high as, as high as thirty three thousand dollars and um, then the person didn't send in the money so they put it up again and this time it did sell oh that's pretty that's pretty look at that Those two papers, <laughs> they're not even close to being the same, but they work. I forget where I, I used that paper on my one of my tag videos. Now let me see what's going to happen in here. Oh, that works. That works. So I'll leave that one horizontal. So other than that, oh, the uh, the other thing is the thermostat might be broke. That's why I'm in my heavy hoodie. It's freezing down here. It came down. Wondered why it was so cold after that very cold night we had. Unusually cold for, well, I don't know. Usually that would be the entire month of February, but for the new normal, unusually cold. And it came down and it was freezing and turned up the heat and it didn't come on. So, it's that time of year. I think, I think they know if you might be getting a tax refund. Okay, time for everything to break. Just repaired the oven, fixed the oven. That means it's probably time for the hot water tank to go as well. Okay, look at that. All different, all beautiful. Look at the bags. Oh, and I'm going to have one or two sheets of this for you. As a freebie in this video. Look at that. I love this paper. I truly love this paper. I I can't I can I'm sure this is gonna be going for some wax paper vignettes. I'm positive. Now these I just took Uh, scraps 
every little scrap I had left over, put it on some, um, put it on whatever piece of whatever had a had enough space put one on the front and on the back took some of this packaging tape went over both sides ran it through the press and then punched it out and that's how I made all of these I didn't want to. I did all of that with scraps. I made this with one little circle. I just wanted to use up all these little scraps. So I have one, two circles somewhere I have to do something with. But I'll figure out something to do with them, that's for sure. And that's how I use up every little piece. Okay. Another simple week. Specimen. Specimen holders. What's the name of them? I feel like there's something, a name that's escaping me. But I'm probably know. <laughs> you let me know what it is. Okay everyone, I hope, I hope that next week is a lot less eventful and we can get back to uh, something more exciting. But these are fun. And you'll just enjoy looking at that beautiful paper. And these I'm going to put on something Eastery. I don't know what, but they'll be going for Easter gifts or something. So, okay, everyone, thank you so much for your time and thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.